is Goody Gang uh, on another rant in the airport again. My battery is dying, so this may cut out. But, um, yo, I'm in TSA pre clearing, so I can't record. But, about to give you guys a bunch of free game with crypto. I just started investing in crypto again, and I got a bunch of free game for the Bahamas, all right? So, let's get it. I'm fast, and now I'm rich, these niggas sick. I'm making everyone mad. When I was broke, I'm like, what was everyone at? I don't fucking know. When I was out there on that corner trying to sell it, oh, Timberlands freezing in that fucking snow, I wanna know. Real trap, grinding all night, I ain't going to sleep. Seeing niggas get it, lose it all, just in quarantine. PUA checks running low, niggas doing things by tracking for your track hawk, and they trying to put them on things. Remember, I was trapping, I was strapping, had like four fiends. Niggas wanted Chevy, I was young, but I had Porsche dreams. Try to tell my youngest that his dough don't buy no more jeans. And never post his gun when he be posting, but he on lean. And fuck, I'm really telling when I was stuck in since like 14. He say in his drilling shit, and he ain't got no more dreams. I set him on this million shit, made 20 of them. All right, fam, what is goody? What is goody? So, yeah, basically touching up on the whole investing of crypto asset, right? You have a lot of persons using apps like Robinhood, Coinbase, um, Cash App, uh, Skrill, you know, these different platforms, right? Which you're buying crypto on, but you don't own the crypto when you buy crypto on these platforms. What you're doing is just having positions, right? So, you want to be able to, when you buy your crypto, you want to be able to actually own it. See, if you buy your crypto and you cannot send it to an external wallet, you don't own it. So, sorry, forgive me, I'm out of breath. So, what you should be looking for when you're in looking for a proper exchange for your wallet, I mean, when you're looking for something to hold your crypto, you need to make sure you can send it to an external wallet, right? Not just buy and sell it. You should be able to send it to another wallet or person. So, I'm gonna give you some game on apps you can use based on the country you're in, right? Give me a second. Yeah, baby. Let's take a jump, baby. Take a jet. Go to the stars. Go to the stars. Look at the stars. Look at the stars. Look at the stars, baby. Look at the stars. Look at my car. Look at my car. Look at my car. Is goody gang um i know it's a bit dark you have to forgive me uh currently in the airport but um continuing on how to properly invest in crypto right i'm gonna show you all but um so i'm gonna get started with people in the bahamas right because a lot of persons in the bahamas don't know exactly the steps to take when investing in crypto right first of all you don't want to invest money you can't afford to lose so a lot of persons will ask what is the correct amount to invest right so i would say save up at least 250 dollars and make sure it's something you can risk now after you have this right with the 250 dollars here's what you're going to have to do because 250 isn't going straight into crypto is going in to get you started with it right so the first thing you want to do is go to a website called proton mail it's a secure email website gmail outlook those other stuff aren't secure right so i know a lot of you understand as well where you know when you download google chrome internet explorer you're being tracked right you're being tracked by the government different stuff etc so if you want to download something called tor browser on your laptop or your phone once you have that downloaded you're going to go to protonmail.com and set up an email now once you have this email you're going to go to binance.com um, if you're in the U.S., you go to Binance.us. If you're in the Bahamas or the Caribbean, you go to Binance.com. And you now create an account with your Proton Mail. See, because Proton cannot be hacked. Scientists, other persons used this way back then before it was really pushed to the public. So once you have that um, email set up now, what you do is you make your Binance account. You verify it. And once that is verified, now what you want to do is go to ledger.com and you order a ledger now they're going to have two different kind of ledgers right they're going to have a ledger s but you only could store six crypto assets on it um so what you want to get is a ledger nano x it's probably going to come up to 127 in total um i do giveaways every month on my instagram where i give away a ledger almost every month so if you don't have one you can't afford one look out just follow the rules see if you can get it but after you have bought that the next thing you want to do is download an app called cex.io you won't be storing your crypto on this what you only would be doing is buying crypto to send to your wallet or to get sent to you to withdraw to your debit card all right 
So once you download the CX.io, you're going to set up an account with the same Proton mail. It's super important. You have to set that up because it's a protected email. Um, you're going to have a lot of persons' emails getting hacked, right? Now, the next thing which you want to do is once you verify that and your ledger reach, you're going to get private keys, all right? You don't want to store these private keys on your phone. Don't tell your mom, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your brother. Don't tell no one because... These private keys are the only way you can, you know, access your crypto. So let's say I get your private keys, I can go on the blockchain and send your crypto to me. So these are super important. It's way more important than your bank account because once your crypto is gone, you cannot get it back. Crypto is not owned by anyone. It's coded, all right? Now, once you have your ledger and you have your Binance.us, these will be the only two wallets you store your crypto on. Now, here's how I store my crypto, right? 70% of my crypto is on my ledger and 30% is on my Binance. The reason that is, is because in case I need, because I don't keep crypto on my phone, only Binance ever on my phone. In case I need to fund my trading accounts as in my Forex or my binary or I need to pay for something with crypto, I can just easily use my Binance or US. So here's a crypto goal um, that I have in place for myself that you all can take, right? So. It used to be invest a thousand a month in crypto. Now for me, it's invest 500 a week for crypto. So here's what you can do if you're a trader. If you're trading Forex and binary, I would say use your binary profits. Whatever one you're profiting most, use that for yourself. And the one you're profiting in least, use that to pay for your crypto. So for me, because I make 200 to $500 a day trading binary, um, I pray to God by the time I drop this video, it's a thousand a day, right? But my goal is to pay to buy $500 worth of crypto a week to put into my uh, crypto account. Now, um, you all can join my free crypto idea group. It's completely free. Um, you have a paid one that's dropping. I'm actually collabing with a friend, uh, Calvin. He's a monster. He tears up crypto. Um, uh, made about three grand from a, <laughs> a pump and dump token. Uh, you're here for American Airlines flight 894. All right, family, yeah, like I was saying, um, you don't want to give your private keys to anybody. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, that was my goal, basically, with the crypto, right? So I buy $500 worth of crypto a week. Um, if most persons are paying me, I have a digital marketing agency, and um, I also do other uh, different things. You know, I have different services that I offer when it comes to one-on-one -on -one calls, Zoom webinar calls, my signals, my course. Um, you know, I also offer other stuff in uh, binary and a bunch of different stuff I offer. So sometimes with the services, what I do is I accept it in Ethereum, Bitcoin, or XRP, right? Because now, let's say um, you get paid $50 right now, right? Within an hour or maybe minutes, that can go up. But the risk is it can still go down, right? So I would say um, if you're a business owner, you don't have to take it. Um, you don't have to take any forms of crypto payment if you don't want to. But I would say it's a huge benefit, right? Um, last week, um, we caught the cum rocket cummies, right? And what happened was, I <laughs> it's crazy, right? I invested $100 in it, and I came up. Listen, you won't believe me when I tell this, right? I made $2,500. Crazy. I, would, I, I pulled it out instantly. But, yeah, that's all the steps. I'll have it listed in the description, you know, from A to Z on what to do. If uh, you're an American as well. Um, you know, you're not in the Bahamas. Um, for you, I recommend still setting up a Binance.us, and um, I would also use uh, um, uh, Coinbase Pro just to withdraw to my bank account. I would not hold crypto in it. All right, do not hold crypto in Coinbase Pro. Get a hard wallet. The one I recommend is Ledger. Um, you may get a notification when you try buy from Coinify in it that. Um, uh, it doesn't allow your card, so you want to use Coinbase Pro or Binance or US to buy your crypto. Or you could use Instacoins and just send it to your wallet, all right? Um, but yeah, that's the simple steps just to get started with crypto. Just a brief video. Um, uh, subscribe to my OnlyFans if you want more exclusive information on um, certain crypto movements, certain business movement, and certain other investor movements. Let's go.